What is up, Nuggets? It's your boy, Killer Pizza, here with a brand new video for you rascals and rap scallions out there. First of all, like always, I hope everybody's having a great weekend, watching some spooky movies and whatnot. And I gotta say, happy Memorial Day to everybody out there. Memorial Day is tomorrow, and I am super excited for it. This is the first time in over five years on my shoot job they have given us the day off, so I'm gonna have a bit of a barbecue. It's gonna be a good time. And, you know, I gotta apologize for getting this video up a little late. I like to have these out at noon on Sundays, but... This past week on my shoot job, like a lot of you guys know, I work outside in, in Michigan. It was over 90 degrees and humid every single day. It was so hot. So yesterday when I was going to record it, I was just too drained. It was one hell of a week with the heat. Plus my uh, one of my coworkers took a gusset plate to the face, got the metal teeth stuck all the way in his face, had to get surgery. It was crazy. But it's a three-day weekend now. I got a lot of fun stuff to watch because, as you can tell from the title, we have a physical media haul, which is one of my favorite videos to make because this is a physical media channel, a movie channel, and who doesn't like new titles in their collection? So with that being said, let's get right into it. I have, I believe, 10 titles to show you guys. So first of all is The Belt of the Ball. We're coming out swinging. This was the talk of the town recently. This is the new 4K release from Scream Factory of Killer Clowns from Outer Space. So I only double dipped on 4Ks one other time in my life so far, and that is for that Creepshow Steelbook Walmart exclusive that everybody was showing off, and I, I was on the hunt for that. It looked so amazing. I grabbed that, but this is the second time. I just couldn't decide. I couldn't help myself, so I picked up the Steelbook as well. So I absolutely love this movie. Uh, Steelbook is beautiful. The only thing I don't like is something Planet CHH touched on. The special features are lacking a bit in this release. So hold on to your Arrow video releases of Killer Clowns from Outer Space, the Blu-ray, which I have as well because I have problems. But, hey, you know, this is one of my very favorite movies, one of the best B-movies. So cheesy, so much fun. This is a movie you could show to somebody that's not too into horror and they would have a lot of fun with it. And if they don't like it, there's something wrong with them, not the movie, because Killer Clowns from Outer Space rules. I will keep buying copies of those. I actually have the Waxwork uh, records I bought at a Comic-Con not too long ago. That's pretty nice, too. Love the movie. But, okay, so here is one I definitely didn't need to pick up. Speaking of double dipping, so I was going to buy some stuff on the Scream Factory 4K sale, but held back, and then I seen somebody's purchase, and I noticed that the 4K of the remake of Evil Dead still had the slip. Now, I'm not the biggest slip cover guy, but these slips don't last forever, and this is a great movie. I figured it'd look good on 4K. The fact that I would get the slip, too, made me pull the trigger and upgrade and get the 4K because I still have the Blu-ray unopened. So I don't really need this anymore. If it was a collector's edition, like a boutique label, I might hold on to it. So maybe I can do a giveaway or something, I'll think of a contest, start giving away some of these movies that I don't need anymore, but I've only seen this movie one time, and I remember absolutely loving it. Uh, there's my catchphrase. I noticed in the last video I did, I always say, absolutely amazing, absolutely, but maybe I'll put it on a shirt one day. But uh, this is great. Another movie I thought would look great in 4K. Brutal, bloody, gory movie. One of the best remakes, in my opinion, from what I remember when I watched it. And also, Evil Dead needs to get its flowers. I think it's not the most consistent franchise, if you think about it. 1, 2, Army of Darkness are amazing. The remake was good. The show was good. And I even like the newest movie that they put out. But, yep, Evil Dead remake. Next up is a movie when I was talking about Killer Moms around Mother's Day. This was a suggestion from a viewer. Serial Mom. So this looks kind of fun. It, it, it's directed by uh, John Waters, which... I'm not the biggest fan, but his movies, when you watch when you know you're in for something a little different. And this has got Kathleen Turner, Ricky Lake, and it doesn't have uh, Matthew Lillard in this, which I was surprised by. So this looks pretty fun. Uh, I will get this review out. I meant to have it out already. I'm going to try for next weekend. So, yeah, excited to check this one out. Can't go wrong with Scream Factory. Speaking of Scream Factory, here is one. I wanted for the longest time. I've never seen this movie before. The artwork on this is beautiful. From reading reading about the story, watching the trailer, and who's in it, I feel it's going to be hard to go bad with this one. The Wizard. A uh, movie with Fred Savage, his little brother, traveling to California to play in a Nintendo tournament or something like that. That's all I really know about it. I did watch the trailer for this. A lot of times I avoid trailers for like horror movies. They give too much away, but 
This one made this movie look like a lot of fun, and I've heard only good things about it. And we're going to continue on with video game themed movies, because here's another blind buy, one I've never seen from MVD Rewind Collection, Joysticks. So it seems like a pretty simple concept, uh, raunchy teen sex comedy from the 80s, which I absolutely love. I will buy every one of them. They're just so much fun, so raunchy, so funny. And I love the description, like the shortest description I've seen on a movie. On the back, it's so small, too. When, when a successful businessman decides to shut down the local video emporium, a group has, of dedicated gamers battle to save the arcade. You know, the old trope, we got to save the youth center, we got to save the ski lodge, we got to save the arcade. I think this one's going to be a lot of fun. I'm excited to watch this. On a side note, I was thinking the other day, too, we're like, Something about horror and comedy, for for that matter, too. It's like you can never really go wrong because, like, even if a movie's bad, it's still good in a lot of ways. You know what I'm saying? So, and that's perfect timing to bring this up right here because this movie had me thinking about that. The Arrow 4K release of Narc. Because I was thinking, I love action movies, cop movies, dramas, and all that, but only if they're done good. If they're done bad, they're almost unwatchable. Which that's what got me thinking about uh, horror and comedy. It's like. It doesn't matter for those genres as much, but you really got to nail it with action movies. And this is honestly a movie from the early 2000s that I don't even remember. I, You know, when I seen this release, first of all, I love this artwork. I fell in love with this artwork the second I seen it. It's almost like cartoon-looking animated. I don't know. It's got Ray Liotta, rest in peace. So that had me interested in... Who's the other guy? Uh, Jason Patrick, who played Michael in Lost Boys. So one of my favorites. So... I was super excited about that. I read a couple reviews online and somebody said this is one of the realest depictions of how crime is in Detroit and how the city of Detroit looks, which I am from Detroit, uh, actually about 10, 15 minutes outside of, 10 minutes outside of Detroit, if anybody wants to stalk me. But uh, yeah, this just seemed like a lot of fun. And a lot of these more serious movies that I picked up through Arrow Video, you know, True Romance, Wild Things, uh, what's another one? Wow, the one slip in my mind. Carlito's Way. They've all been really good, so I'm super excited to check this one out. Let me know in the comments if you've seen this one before. Oh, don't mind me, guys. Still a little hot. I'm in here sweating like a party guest at a P. Diddy, P. Diddy's house or some shit. It's a terrible joke to make. All right, now here's a movie I watched all the time as a little kid. I thought I wasn't going to be able to get this one because this sold out all over the place right away. And that is Brandon Lee in The Crow. Now, you know, the character that inspired Sting in the late uh, days of WCW, this is the movie where Brandon Lee died on set with a real bullet. A lot of controversy with this movie, but a fun, dark superhero kind of rock movie and everything. I always love this movie. Nice to see this come out on 4K. I have uh, no doubt that this is going to really benefit through the format and everything. Like I said, there's certain movies that look better on 4K and some that can be left alone. Like, you know, the argument being like, we don't really need upgrades on comedy movies on 4K, but drama and horror movie, animated films really benefit, benefit from it. But, you know, I watch this all the time as a kid, but I don't remember barely anything about it. You ever have that happen to you when you're that young? You just, a lot of these movies blend together. But I know it's good. Uh, cult following and everything. Excited to rewatch this. Now, I believe this was a viewer's suggestion as well. When I, In my 4K video, they told me to check this out. And I was surprised that I've never watched this because I'm a big Stanley Kubrick fan. I think it's more that I'm not into science fiction or anything. But 2001 A Space Odyssey. I did look up the trailer and read into this. They're saying it's one of the greatest science fiction movies of all time. And I'll tell you what, this does look pretty badass. I know I'm going to have to watch this on a night when I'm ready for it. You know, it seems like there's a lot to unpack with this film unpack right with this film can't talk man i can't talk today i don't know what it is but 2001 a space odyssey 4k and last but not least i got a three pack on 4k as well the oceans trilogy oceans 11 12 and 13 star studded cast here it's about a bunch of guys who get together to pull off a heist on all these different casinos in las vegas and i've only seen each one of these once Every one of them back to back. I watched all three in a row and I remember loving these so much. Kind of got that twist ending. Like, nothing beats when a movie's got a twist ending like that. And I love how they go back and recap everything that happened. 
I didn't necessarily need this on 4K, but this was a nice set. I have it on DVD. But, you know, this was $55. So if you want to get the Steelbooks individually, it's going to be a lot more money. But, you know, pretty damn good deal. You know, less than $20 a piece for a 4K. This is a very fun trilogy. I know I'm going to have a lot of fun finally revisiting these films. But that is it. That is my physical media haul over, like, the last month or whatnot. Let me know in the comments if you've seen any of these movies. Let me know what you think, any suggestions on future videos to review, future movies. And I'm going to get that Serial Mom review in soon, next weekend probably. But other than that, everybody enjoy the rest of your weekend. Blood, guts, gore. I'll check you guys next time.